Mengli Khan now leads them towards the third last flight. Going to rise a couple of lengths in front over that one. Followed in second place by Sharjah with La Richburg. And these are being followed by Real Steel, who's improved on the outside of Hardline. Makatorix has dropped back to join Whiskey Sour. Making the turn out of the back straight. Beginning the run now to take them across for the second last. And Mengli Khan is the length and a half in front of La Richburg in second. In third place is Sharjah. Real Steel has now moved into fourth, just behind the leading three. Whiskey Whiskey Sour has made ground from the back to move up on the outside of hard line and Makatorix all but pulled up. Two to jump. Mengli Khan, La Richburg and Real Steel. And he's gone out through the wing, Mengli Khan. And that leaves Real Steel now the leader. Jack Kennedy is up from that horrific exit. And now La Richburg and Sharjah give chase to Real Steel. Whiskey Sour has moved into fourth and they're cleared of hard line. And off the bend for home, Real Steel in front. Stable companion, Sharjah on the outside. Whiskey Sour moves into third. So it's one, two, three for pair Willie Mullins. And they come down to the last as Patrick brings Sharjah up on the outside now to join Real Steel. The final flight in the Petty Power Future Champions. Sharjah has gone, and so is Real Steel. What an eventful race, and it's going to go to Whiskey Sour and David Mullins. What a race. Whiskey Sour, a long last at halfway, is going to win this by a big margin. Only four finishers. Whiskey Sour and David Mullins well clear of the Reesburg second. Third home hard line, and Makatorix, who was all but pulled up to out, is fourth, and horses and riders up at that last flight. Well, where do you start with that? Whiskey Sour has won at odds of nine to one. He must have been 500 to one halfway down the back straight. He was a long, long last at that stage, but the drama in the closing stages of this race, you just could not believe what would happen. Mengli Khan running out in front at the second last when seemingly travelling best. Real Steel, who'd been off the bridle from an early stage. And Sharjah, upsides, going to the last, crashing out simultaneously. There's Mengli Khan going out through the wing, and he had had a good look around at a couple of hurdles prior to that Mengli Khan and I can't say you would have predicted what would have happened there but you don't ever like to see a horse do that and it's back to the drawing board with him I think wherever we see him next today you'll see him in front as early as he was today Jack walked away we heard and the horse seemed fine but then we had this incident at the last here we could not believe this both jockeys obviously feeling they needed a good jump to seal the deal Patrick Mullins gives his a squeeze he just dives at it the other horse seemed to jump it okay and for whatever reason he just went down like a ton of bricks on the other side real steel and Whiskey Sour who in fairness was finishing off his race well enough picks up the pieces and goes on to win a grade one and round off an incredible year having won two races at the Galway Festival two premier handicaps including the first of them, the big amateur race under the owner's son, Aubrey. But my word, that was just incredible stuff. Almost from the word go, but the second half of that race, the drama. I just don't know where you begin to try and assess that. Seven, Whiskey Sour is the winner at nine to one. The Reesburg in the end was the one that finished second. Two absolutely horrible falls there. Hopefully both horses okay. It's been an absolutely miserable 40 minutes or so for Paul Town and with Min getting disqualified. And now Real Steel taking a perler at the last here, went in with every chance. David Mullins, who was on the floor himself earlier on in the afternoon, he is the beneficiary this time in the colours of Luke McMahon. Sean, I'm almost lost for words.